Matt and I are working on a little project to take the data that we have from Ford uh, driving their cars around in, in Detroit. We're going to take that data and just really simply take the steering data and the acceleration data. So, you know, the data from the car that when it's when it's going, when it's turning. Yeah, so we're, we're tearing apart the, the controls for these remote control cars. And then we're going to actually wire up the Arduino to the controls for the remote control car and we'll be able to replay on a very small scale the course that a car would have driven in the day. So far I have a really simple application written where uh, I have outputs for left, right, gas, and brake. And now I'm actually interfacing that with the, with the data from the, from the cars. So hopefully in a few hours we'll have one of these little remote control cars replaying a, a, micro, a, a miniaturized um, replay of, of the Ford car driving around in Detroit. Winning prizes is always really cool, but I think we're, we're here more just to, to play around with new technologies and try out new things. It's really more about that than even winning the prizes. If sci-fi vehicles had OpenXC data, I think the, the one that comes to mind for me, I mean, any, any uh, the Enterprise would be amazing because it's a big ship, a lot of technology, but I think I'd want data from I would probably want data from Battlestar Galactica because it's a huge ship, it has all sorts of systems on it, and I, I think that would be fascinating. Plus I would like to know how their FTL drives work.